Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Today is the 17th of uh, September at 2022. So guys, uh, here is the latest. Government has uh, reviewed councillors' allowances as President Emerson Mnangagwa said he had approved a scheme to import uh, vehicles duty-free. Mnangagwa also said councillors would get special terms on purchasing personal housing stands. The allowance uh, review was announced by local government and public works as secretary Jine Chingwe Churu in a correspondence uh, to local authorities dated September 14. In a letter addressed to town clerks, secretaries and chief executive officers, Churu said mayors, chairpersons would get $138,575.40. Uh, their deputies uh, will get $127,027.45. Committee chairperson will get $120,098.68. And the councillors will get $115,479.50. Local authorities are by advised that effect August 1. 2022 allowances have been reviewed however councils are advised that payment of these allowances is subject to performance of the local authority please note uh, that this circular resigns all previous communication relating to this subject matter and its interpretation of this circular rest with the undersigned is speaking at the closing day of the all councillors in Daba in Harare yesterday, Nangagwa said he had approved the importation of councillors vehicles duty free but would need to find out what was stalling the finalization of the duty waiver. Directing uh, to the developments, Citizens Coalition for Change uh, Councillor Denford Ngadzore at Harare Ward 16 told a Newsday weekend that, that councillors were more concerned about getting devolution funds allocation than personal vehicles. There's nothing to celebrate if money is not allo allocated to devolution so that our people can have better service delivered. We need our 5% which is supposed to be allocated to the city of Ferrari for us to have better service delivery. He said, we are for the citizens whom we represent, not ourselves. We will celebrate more the day when we receive our devolution money for service delivery. If duty-free car import scheme is implemented, I will donate the vehicle to the community to assist in charity and social responsibility work or alternatively we procure a permanent refuse collection truck for my ward. Harare Mayor Jacob Mafume said we need to see how much impact this we have on the ability of councillors to supervise service delivery. We need to right size incomes across the board for all Zimbabweans. Kaduma Mayor Action Nyamkondewa described the development as a great achievement in the ministry, at least for this time, but we don't know how inflation is going to haunt us. The ordinary councillor was on $16,755 and the mayor's was $20,000, he said. And so that's the latest here. And at the end of the day, our councillors need to uh, to move around uh, our communities. And it's like, I don't know what to do with my name, but I don't know what to do with my name. I don't know what to do with my So I think it's a good move uh, to have, um, you know, duty free for our councillors. We don't know what because, I mean, uh, at the moment, we have to pay for almost ten thousand dollars. We have to pay in May. We have to pay twenty thousand Zimbabwe dollars. That's why I'm just gonna pay for corruption. When the council thinks I'm a stand, you know, pay for security. Pay for security. It's because when they go to the issue, they think I'm gonna make only sixteen thousand seven hundred fifty-five dollars. And so, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up. Synesthetic. 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 Synesthetic.